Welcome everyone to the virtual award ceremony for the Low House 2024 exhibition. Um, today I'm joined with Juliana Oakes. She's running point from Circle Gallery um, and our wonderful juror, Ms. Don Bond. I'm Ronnie Freeman. So I'm just gonna introduce Ms. Bond first and then if she has some words to say afterwards, she'll feel free to take the floor. So Ms. Bond was born and raised in the Midwest. Uh, she grew up fascinated by the role of an artist as a unique and vital voice. Printmaking and graphic design shaped her early art making um, and that eventually led to, led to print painting in time-based media. After that, she earned a Master of Fine Arts in Interrelated Media from Towson University. She then embarked on a teaching career. She has been teaching at Anne Arundel Community College for the past 18 years. Um, during this time, she, she seeks to engage students in critical art making, which is the highlight of what she considers to be advocacy work and deliberate equity practices within an open enrollment system. Ms. Bond relishes in, relishes in supporting student learning and she finds these interactions meaningful and opportunities for her to extend herself through her art and her artistic practices. All in all, she's honored to jury the Low House exhibition, and she looks forward to seeing um, what the community artists um, produce from their interest, techniques and form to their presentation. Through these, she's sure that the exhibition will be an engaging one and hopes you all can go see it if you have the chance. Thank you, Amani. Thank you to MFA Gallery for giving me the opportunity to um, really just engage with the community beyond for, at least for me, the community college, right? So it's really wonderful to get to um, see what people are making just on a very base level, right? Um, and my curiosity was met with really impressive work. Really, um, so many were interested in, um, well, there's, there's a wide range from uh, nature to you know these small moments to objects that we have in front of us to um, more non-representative work and um, so it was a pleasure for me to see that and of course in all different media which I completely embrace and I really was um, as I was going through the work really trying to when, when putting the show together try to show that range so the range of content range of form um, just, you know, how you approach the work and then the kind of media and skill you brought to that. So again, thank you to the MFA gallery and to all of you. Congratulations for getting into the show. Um, I love seeing the work. So we'll go through the honorable mentions. So this is Lee uh, Goodwins. In choosing the work, right, there was just really trying to um, pick from, uh, trying to at least reflect the variety that I saw um, as well as as getting uh, trying to find work that really captured a moment that for me was something where you know you really there was something about it right something unique something fresh about it in some way even if it was a still life or you know a water shot which we've seen um, quite a bit of in this area there's still so many fresh ways to show um, uh, to build that content and form. Um, so in picking that honorable mentions, I just tried to pick the ones that really held my interest even, even further that I thought about after I left and I kept going back to, um, so this was one of them. I just was so impressed with just this particular moment and this painting, those tomatoes are so gorgeous. I just could not get over these tomatoes. Um, so, um, a very traditional, um, piece here, um, I guess in some ways, like the first photograph, but this just technique wise was lovely. The color was so beautiful. I really did just keep going back to this. I was really happy to see some uh, collage work. I'm a big fan of collage and working digitally. Um, so it was really uh, great to see uh, John T. Allen had a, a couple of pieces in here. So this is one I definitely wanted to represent that group. It's intriguing. It seems like it's a, a language that, you know, that we're studying somehow, something, some history, um, but then it kind of goes, it, it's left open for interpretation. And Will Scott, this is just so gorgeous. You know, I really thought it was a painting when I first looked at this online. Um, it seemed like such a traditional um, oil painting and it's a photograph, but it's it feels like both to me. It's so lush and gorgeous and 
yeah, I just couldn't get over the color. And when they say when you learn how to paint, especially outside, whether it's plain air or it's watercolor, um, you know, when they talk about how many greens you can create, I was like, yes, this is what that's like. There were a number of works that had, um, like this work here by um, Petra Maria Bernstein, or Bernstein, sorry if I get the names wrong, um, that, that had a quality of light to them that really just embodied something that felt like I was there and could feel it. Um, and, and there were a few pieces that were like that. So this is one of them. So I'm a big fan of this painting. I don't know if you're here, Gilbert. I love all of your work. It's so, I just, Thank yeah. You. Thank yes. You. So these, um, so these paintings, you had a couple in, but this one in particular, that had that quality of light as well. That just made me feel like, well, if I had to live in a painting, I could live here. <laughs> It was just right. It just felt so, um, I don't know, you know, things transcend the actual, you know, it's, it's transcending the actual location. So it makes me feel a certain way, whether it's where I want to be or um, more almost, um, I don't know, a bit of, you know, like a spiritual transcendence. So I think it's lovely. And Melanie Berry, I'm not sure if you're here, but um, right. So this is a close up and um, there are two pieces in this show and they're both um, somewhat in the round uh, using a circle and then having the imagery within that. And it's very abstracted, but yet there's these little moments where you can pick up the imagery from broken porcelain, um, teacups, plates, and other things. Um, so I love when it becomes completely abstracted and becomes just color, um, shape, or a texture, and then getting those little bits of the actual, um, you know, something representational that pulls together a story. Um, and this one, when you see it in the whole, and I'm sorry, Julie, to put you on a spot like that, um, it has a really nice progression in the story. Um, I, I find it to be a narrative, right? So that it has, um, so it's called Burning Bridges. Um, so it, it's getting warm, warmer and warmer as you move from the top left to the bottom right. Um, and then you can see certain elements. Yeah, thanks for zooming in um, that that have gender references. And then Mike McSor uh, McSorley's work. Um, I just love this. I love, you know, how you can take something that is so ordinary so every day and just make it so beautiful like I love all these curves and the negative space and it's just everything about it when you're when you're um close up to this painting there's so many different kinds of white that you know warm and cools and grays and I just think it's such a a beautiful painting and Barbara um Brower or Brower um this this is a really nice piece of, um in person as well. I mean, it is online, but I, I liked it even more um, in person just to really see the washes since it's a watercolor to see where that pigment, um, where she let, let the pigment sit and then where she tried to control it. It's a very, in some ways, a simple composition. I mean, complex, but, you know, geometric at that. Um, but I still find it very intriguing. I don't know where this is, but I'd love to go and check out the space. This was another one where the the color was captured the 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 light that time of day was just captured so well. I love all the texture, the red and green against that um, cloudscape is so beautiful, quintessential Annapolis, I guess. So those were the um, the jurors' choice, right, and the honorable mentions. I loved all the work, so you know everything you see in the show is something that appealed to me in some way and. It's really tough looking at work. Um, you know, I, I know that there is, you know, what you like personally, and then what you find to be effective, um, maybe formally and otherwise. I just found, you know, I was just so delighted that people are out there not just making work, not just something quick and easy, but really involved work. It was ambitious work. Um, so I really commend all that you're doing and uh, hope that now I can find these ties, find more of your work, come to more shows, and support you the best way that I can. Okay, Ms. Bond, thank you so much for your analysis on the work and your choices. Um, it really was insightful, and it's always good to hear from, you know, the, the person that picks the show, why they did it, and what went into it. So now, if any of the artists have any questions, um, comments, now is the time. You can drop it in the chat 
or you can unmute yourself. Yeah, I'll just take a minute or two to uh, uh, thank the uh, juror for selecting my work, Fisherman's Paradise, uh, and uh, to share with everyone that that actually is a small bridge on a rail trail over a stream in far western Wisconsin. I mean, we're only about 10 miles from the Minnesota border, and it is in the middle of nowhere. And I appreciate the way you mentioned the greens. The greens were sort of the easy part of um, making the photograph. Once I decided how to uh, crop it, uh, the greens were that varied. And what I had to try and do was find whether I could tweak it a little bit and enhance that uh, sense of depth and variety in the greens or whether I should just leave it alone. I guess I tweaked it a tiny bit. It was the sky and the reflection in the water that was the real challenge um, to get enough blue to balance out the green. Um, and so I'm happy that you selected it because that was what I was worried about, that maybe I didn't quite hit the right balance between the blues and the greens. That's great. I'm from Wisconsin and my family's in uh, Minnesota and North Dakota. So we travel quite a bit by car that way. So I love that I picked something that's actually right yeah. a little known. But I, yeah. I'm really happy that you talked a bit about what your concerns were formally, right? Once you took the photograph yeah. and then how you handled that. Yeah, um, it, right. Because those are like the million decisions that as the viewer, we never know. Right. And that's exactly what is the difference, I think, between making a photograph and taking a photograph. Um, I've I've always found it pretty easy to find an appealing subject or uh, a, a strong composition. But then the what really makes or breaks the work uh, and makes me think it's successful is I have to play with all of those lights and darks and the intensity uh, of the colors, the mix of the colors. Well, thank you for sharing that. Well, thank you for awarding me <laughs> the uh, prize. And Melanie, is that Melanie Berry, is that you? We met so long ago at, at UMBC, but I love your work. I, you know, if I could run off with it, I would. It's a little heavy <laughs> probably. Um, but I just love the work. I had no idea that that's, um, you know, something, I don't know if you've been doing mosaics for a while, but I am a big fan. Sorry, okay. I totally put you on the spot. No, it's okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, I remember meeting you and I, I really, yeah, I, I, I was always impressed with how devoted you were to your students. Um, but anyway, I, yeah, I used to, I made mosaics, but not, you know, I couldn't really focus full time until I did retire. And I did that about five years ago and then built a studio and I've been working pretty steadily since then. Um, That's fabulous. Congratulations. Thank you. That is a thing, right? For everybody in this room, right? When you're making art, yeah. you need time. <laughs> yeah. And space. Yes. yes. It's good to have a place. You know, a yeah. basement is not always, that's what I had. A basement and a ping pong table, but not the best. Yeah. I find that... Um, as I'm teaching, and I really do love teaching, um, that I'm not making a lot of work during the semester. I just, you know, there's just so much happening at that time that having, you know, unless I have just very easy kind of small things to do. Um, and that's why I do like collage, but otherwise, yeah, I kind of save that for summers and some other sabbatical and things like that. Kathleen. I, I, I want to uh, thank you, Ms. Bond. I'm, I'm honored to be in the show and to be in the show and receive an award. <laughs> they, I really like the work of the other artists. I, I want to thank Amani for, for putting all this together. <laughs> um, I, I appreciate uh, what Will said about the greens. Um, my, my paintings, there's a lot of green in Maryland and a lot of my paintings are place-based and they may be nature, they may be landscape, or they could be architecture or some combination, but it, it's in, inevitable that you have to deal with the greens. So I decided a while ago that green, greens are fun. So I try to come up with a broad variety, you know, depending upon the warmth and the value and all that. So, so that's a lot of fun. 
And the, the place where I painted uh, marigolds, I've painted there a number of times. It's a wonderful historic farm in Hartford County. And the family that's been there for five, at least five generations has uh, cut flowers. And every year there are different flowers on the fields. And the marigolds just got me <laughs> the year that I painted that. Yeah, the um, I like the Patapsco one too. And you, you did, I know there were a couple other entries that you had. They were also, I, I just really enjoy your brushwork. It's really confident. Okay. You're, you're specific without being overly, it's not fussy and it's not as though you're trying to make, um, you know, like a photorealism. Um, so I just really, I find it's really luscious, you know, green or otherwise the paint is applied in a luscious way. Well, thank you. Yeah. I was going to thank you also, and I do appreciate the comments on the whites because I thought a lot about that. <laughs> oh, that... I, I couldn't figure out how to make them different. I kept going back to that painting over and over. So it's the uh, tub faucet painting. It's just, yeah, I just love your highlights in it. Everything about it, it's so strong without feeling metallic at the same, you know, like it still feels like paint. Um, hi, Dawn. Hello. Um, I love that faucet painting too. It's so interesting <laughs> with shapes and the negative and positive space. But I also like all the other pieces and I, I get so inspired when I see other people's works and when I hear you talk about it. I agree with the greens. I agree with the, the building, with the faucet. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to say real quick, thank you for including me in the show and for this award. I'm also very happy about what you said about the light in those grasses. I barely edited that picture and that kind of makes me so happy that you can capture nature at this instant, at this moment. And it's so beautiful. And the lines are so delicate, but so powerful against the dark background. And um, I live on the Wicomico River in Salisbury. And I, I basically document the river, winter, spring, summer, and fall. But fall, the colors are just so interesting to me the gold and the way they, they switch to oranges and reds and the way that the weeds grow tall and everything intermingles thank you for seeing the light in this piece and for my award so thank you well, and congratulations welcome. to all the other um uh, recipients as well thank you Hi. I think you um, bring up a great point too about being inspired because yes. I certainly felt that way in looking at the work. Um, and, you know, like it, I do think, um, you know, Annapolis has a community, right? Um, as, you know, but it's, it varies, right? I know Baltimore mm -hmm. has a lot of different communities and then certainly DC. And I'm, I, I think sometimes it's hard to always connect with your, your people. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is a great way to um, find each other and then to be inspired by each other. Yeah. 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 Um, I noticed Mr. Goodwin. I think he joined. Uh, Ms. Jorn and Mr. Goodwin, he did win an award. So, Mr. Goodwin, this is a piece that you won an award for. Congratulations. Um, and Ms. Jessica, you also won an award for your piece. Yeah, Mr. Goodwin, um, you also had another uh, another piece in the show. All your photographs are really, really stunning. It was hard to pick um, which one should go in. So uh, my choices were based then when I started thinking about the overall show. Um, they were all delicious. <laughs> That's what I can say. They really were. They were just, you know, places it seemed like a, there was a sense of wonder about them. I felt your curiosity. And then Jessica's work. This was just a lovely piece. I really, I am not a traditional painter whatsoever. Um, and I really appreciate this, the skill, the technique here, as well as really just the, the end product. I really, um, I already said, I love these tomatoes, but I do. They're just so, um, they remind me of how my professor used to talk about Cezanne's fruit. You know, just that he, he just wanted to take them off the, the painting and and hold them and eat them. And and they have that quality, not just because they look real, but they they feel 
I don't know, they, <laughs> the weight of them, everything about them, feel, you know, like is enticing. If everyone's satisfied, I think we will thank Miss Bond so much for working with us. And thank you for your input throughout the exhibition, not just today. Um, today, you were very insightful. I hope that everyone that joined really feel like they benefited from being here. Um, those who were unable to join, of course, it will be on YouTube. We'll post the awards on our website. And I just want to say on behalf of the MFA, thank you so much again. And hopefully you'll work with us in the future.